Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Paul from Zurich, Switzerland, and this uh, presentation deals with the topic occlusion on implant retained respirations. I believe to all of us a situation like this has occurred where right after final delivery a uh, major tipping takes place, like in this case in the lower left. Or let's take an emergency case, patient has a bicycle accident and uh, what do we do? Do we place an immediate implant? Do we deliver an immediately uh, fixed temporary restoration? And what occlusion are we going to give in order not to interfere with loosening of the implant and losing osseointegration after all? Or in an even more demanding clinical situation such as a missing uh, canine uh, where the plan is to place an implant, deliver an immediate temporary restoration, what occlusal concept are we going to have uh, to prevent interference with uh, good bone healing? or to make it even more demanding, uh, this is an anterior gap canine to canine. Again, implant placement is uh, the aim. Uh, how are we going to design our occlusal schematic so that the patient is not going to clench on these teeth at night notably and going to uh, punch out all our uh, implants? So then last but not least, uh, a situation where we have uh, maxillary and mandibular full arch restoration. The interesting uh, occlusal concept of a mixed dentition, so that is implants on natural teeth versus implants on implants alone. Please be invited to learn more about uh, occlusal concepts on implant retained restorations. Thank you very much. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.